we're gonna start where I don't even know where to start but I guess we're gonna start here some people are homeless because they choose to be I know sounds weird but when I say they choose to be it's kind of like a forced choice and you're all asking I know most of everybody that's reacting to you know what's going on the pictures that the humanity project puts up there is why are we letting this happen why isn't the city doing anything to fix it and that's one of the big messages that the humanity project does put out there that the city needs to fix this and I'm really sorry and this is harsh news I get it not everybody wants to hear this but it needs to be said it's not the city's responsibility it's not however we will address in a later thing because I'm doing one thing at a time the whole responsibility about the roomy houses that's another thing but as for the fact that there are people in the city of Moncton and Diet Riverview around here that are on the streets it is not the city's responsibility to house them in any way shape or form I know I'm sounding rude and mean but it's the truth it sounds crazy please let me explain why am I saying that it's not the city's responsibility and why am I saying it's a forced choice because it is a choice because we live in Canada and Canada is huge on human rights and sometimes we don't necessarily understand the human rights because yes it's their human right to make their own decisions and sometimes those decisions lead them with the consequences that they live on the streets and in our minds you know some people most of us don't understand that that's their choice and yes some of them don't like living on the streets but it still falls down to it being a choice let me explain I'm not entirely sure how many people are actually aware of this part this is why I feel it's important for me to share in Canada you cannot force someone to take their medication you can't there's a little bit of a law sort of in Ontario but even that is hard and difficult so in all you can't make somebody take their medication if they don't want to that doesn't just go for people with mental illnesses it goes for people with diabetes people with epilepsy yes they should take their medication because if they don't bad things may and possibly will happen however it is their human right to make the choice if they want to take them or not some people for whatever reason that is another topic for another day choose to not take their medication and sometimes there's consequences for some people and I am going to mostly focus on the people with mental illnesses because I've been there I've lived there I have lived in special care homes years ago they helped me there's rules 
There are rules in the special care home that you have to follow. You have to take your medication. If you don't, then you can't live there anymore. You also can't be abusing drugs or alcohol. If you do, you can't live there anymore. And yes, the abuse part is another subject, sticking to one thing. Therefore, some people, it becomes their forced choice to live on the streets because they don't like the rules that come along with living in homes. And that is their choice. So yes, in a way, it doesn't make sense because if they were in their right mind, they would not choose to be on the streets. However, they don't want to follow the rules for whatever their personal reasons are. And we have no right to question those reasons. It's part of the human rights. They don't want to follow the rules. Therefore, their consequences are they might not have a place to live. Can we do anything about that? No. It's their right. We might not like it. We feel bad for them. We empathize with them. And there's a few people out there that I personally know. I talk to them when I do a few times go downtown. I know them from a long time ago. And what can I say? That's how the legal system works. We cannot make them. So if somebody decides that they are not going to take their medication and have a seizure, then that is their choice. We cannot make them. And if, you know, anything else bad happens, again, their consequences, they have to live with them. And on top of all that, when I'm talking about choices and consequences, I'm also talking about shelters. This is another thing where I find that the information coming from the Humanity Project is misleading to the people who are on the front lines, who aren't talking to the people every day. How many times during storms in winter do you see Charlie put out things about, you know, we stayed open and we're not supposed to, people are here, they have no place to go. Uh, well, that's not quite everything. There are shelters in Moncton. Now, sometimes they are full. That is true. But most of the time, they aren't. Because, again, there are rules at the shelters. And the people don't want to follow those rules. What the rules are and if I agree or you agree with them is not the point. The point is that there are rules and you have to have some sort of rules when it comes to having a bunch of strangers sleeping in, in you know, close confinements. I mean, there's possibility of theft and, you know, sexual harassment, sexual, you know, abuse. I mean, bad things can happen if certain rules are not placed. So certain rules definitely need to be there. And in this city, most, if not all, shelters are run by the backing and the funding of some sort of church. And again, it's a private thing that they are doing on their own or from the kindness of their heart. Therefore, they can write whatever rules they want. And sometimes the people don't like those rules because it's the same thing. Again, we can't, again, the addiction stuff is gonna come in another thing, but those are the rules. You can't be drunk, you can't be doing drugs, 
And you have to be in the shelter by a certain time and you can't keep coming and going. Those are there for your safety as someone who is in the shelter. And more than that, I don't need to explain more. I think you understand my point. What I'm saying is there's rules to follow and whether, you know, we can't make someone follow those rules. It's against the law. It's against their human rights. It's their choice. And if their choice leads them to be on the streets, unfortunately, we can't do anything about that. We can try as much and offer help again. If they don't want to take the help, they don't want it, we can't make them. Thank you very much for this first part. I know it's tough. I know it's a lot. There's more to come. I will try to give you time between them to, you know, absorb things. And I do hope that you tune in for the next one. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. And if anybody has any questions, any feedback, if you think something I'm saying is incorrect, do not hesitate to message. There is a message button on the page for a reason. And if I am wrong, I have never had a problem ever to admit that I'm wrong. And if I am wrong, I will come back and publicly make the difference. Thank you very much for listening in your time. I hope you have a great day. And please come back when the next one comes up.